This is the daily video update for Monday, November 8th, 2021 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'd just like to thank everybody uh, for the, the support over the last two weeks, um, or the, the grace as I've been uh, a, little, a little frazzled. Um, as you probably know, um, my wife Stacy traveled to Maryland for a couple weeks to help take care of her mother, and while she was gone, um, my mother came here, and then, uh, and then our daughter got sick, and, uh, and then I got sick, and, um, it's, it's just, the story of the last two weeks is, is much longer, um, and more involved than any, uh, any two-minute video has any right to be, but the, the short version is that everybody involved in the story is now, uh, on the mend in meaningful ways. Um, Hailish is back in, in preschool, um, Stacy is back in Maryland, <laughs> my mother is back in New York, um, and, uh, and we are all, uh, all doing better than we, than we were, um, about a week ago. Our theme for the month of November is holding history at the church, and so over the next week, um, uh, among other things, I'm going to start unpacking some of the, the discussion questions from the Soul Matters. Um, packet on holding history. Um, if you're a member of the church, you've gotten it in your email. It's the topic we'll be taking up in worship and in small groups over the next month. So the first question that we'll consider today is, does fall come with its own set of memories? Do you remember differently this time of year? I actually do. Um, I, I suppose I'm still close enough to the, the academic rhythm of the year that fall always feels like the beginning, um, whether that's of an academic year with classes or now a church year, um, the, the scent of leaves um, on the air is one that, that is really evocative for me of, of new beginnings. Um, my mom was just out here and, uh, and we were telling stories about, uh, about our memories of, of I was growing up and um, she laughed and, and said you know all your Oscar all your academic foibles were uh, all followed pretty much the same trajectory you'd get really excited in the fall and you'd get all your books and read them all and do great the first couple months of class uh, and then you'd already read all the material and so you'd get bored and and uh, and like clockwork every year do great the first quarter and and badly the second quarter um, I don't know why I just told that to, to this church, but um, but that was indeed the pattern from, from about third grade through college. Um, it, it is less the, the pattern now. Um, but it is an exciting time to, to read all the new material and, and start things. Anyway, see you tomorrow.